Among our Diné, there are times when there are a lot of confusion over various uh, holy people as uh, we view them in the traditional stories and how they fit into the uh, history of our Diné. And one of those uh, beings is the woman that we call Asana Tlehe, which uh, a lot of times people refer to as changing woman. Asana Tlehe has been associated with uh, too many things that are not correct. And so to put it into uh, just a few words, it's got to be said that the Sanofte has nothing to do with homosexuality. And that's very important for our, our Diné to understand. A Sanofte is the mother to uh, Monster Slayer. And the story is that she went out and she disrobed in front of the Yin, which is the Gihona uh, Eh Nhitcha. His sunlight shined upon her as she was uh, laying on the ground. and. Uh, she then became pregnant with uh, Monster Slayer as the child, and eventually he was born. And uh, so she gave birth to a holy person, and which is the son of the one that watches us by daylight. So it is it's very important to understand that she gave birth to a holy person that we know as Monster Slayer. Now, ye is run, is what we say. Down through the history of our people, and many of us have been told, you know, that these people are very special type people, uh, especially those that we refer to as Natli, which is actually a man that understands the uh, ways of women or a woman that understands the way of men, the feelings and the thinking process, all of that embodied in either a male or a female. But I will share a story with you about one of my great aunts, and uh, she was born in the latter 1800s. And so when I was acquainted with her, it was in the 1940s and 1950s, and I was very uh, young. And she always called me, you know, she yajusha, where? And, uh, but as I have come to know her, and uh, she was one of the grandmothers that I had in the Navajo, any of our, our real grandmother's sisters are our grandmothers. They are the same clan, and we are of their clan. And so she was very young when she was married uh, way back in the early probably 1900s but uh, she was probably about maybe 13 or 14 and she was married to a man that was uh, probably about 23 maybe 24 years old quite a bit uh, older than her but the thing about that union and that uh, arranged marriage was that the man that she married was a medicine man and he knew many ceremonies and so they had a, a young daughter that died in infancy and the uh, couple stayed together for many years and uh, she learned the uh, ceremonies on that from her husband. And the thing about this uh, grandmother of mine, many people knew her as Jipa or the uh, Asanez. She was very tall and she had a very deep voice. And it was that uh, people sometimes referred to her and uh, called her Nutle and the teaching about her is, or what I've learned from her is that she was very kind to me and she took me to many ceremonies with her and uh, after her husband passed on uh, she took up all of the apprentice that her husband had uh, been teaching the uh, ceremonies and that she began to t go to the ceremonies that they were conducting and she would uh, assist them and help them to learn the songs and the prayers and how to conduct the ceremony and so she was regarded as a, a medicine woman and she had uh, her husband medicine bundle and it was that uh, I went with her many times. I remember she was uh, very strong and she could handle a horse so well. She could uh, be gentle with the horse and she could grab a saddle with one hand and throw it up onto the horse's back and cinch up the, the saddle and then she would hop into the uh, saddle just like a man would do. And then she would reach down and she would grab my hand and she would pull me up with one hand and onto the back and I would ride in the, on the back behind her on the saddle and then we would go to these ceremonies and she would be the one that would be helping the uh, apprentice as he conducted the ceremony and uh, she was very elderly when I went off to school and, and uh, she wanted me to continue to learn the uh, ceremony but I never did but the thing about her is that uh, she was very tall her voice was very deep and she did things that were so masculine but she was a very gentle woman and the apprentices 
and that that learned the ceremony from her. Uh, they spoke very highly of her, and they always called her Shema, and uh, as that means my mother. And so it was that uh, I learned that she was uh, a woman that understood the ways of men. Not today is what they uh, referred to her sometimes. And those are the things that I remember about her and the teachings about changing women. So the thing that we have to understand is that there are people, very special people, that are male that understand the ways of women and there are women that understand the ways of men. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah,